What's going on guys? It's Greg here with Team Rising Stars and today we just got back from Charlotte, North Carolina Regionals. We're here our friend Jamie here who played, what you play Jamie? We play Gardevoir GX, Zorar GX. Of course, alright man, let's get in the list. Alright, well, first off I think this is a good deck if anybody's still trying to learn how to play. If we first start out with four vaults, I think that's pretty standard with any type of Gardevoir deck. Uh, I prefer the Draining Kiss one personally because it lives with, um, basically if you're attacking with Ralts and you're consistently attacking, it doesn't really matter what you're doing, you're going to lose anyway. And then we have one Curlia. Why the one Curlia? Well, with the one Curlia, you don't really need to run anymore because you're always drawing in the things with Zorark, which I'll show you here in a minute. And this was very important if you're going up against the Zorark matchup or anything weak to fighting. Two copies of Gallade. Its ability also works very well with Zorark as well because um, you just go use this ability to look at the top five cards of your deck, put them back in any order, and then trade into whatever you put on top of it. Very, very good. And then the big daddy of them all, three copies of Gardevoir GX. What is that? The big, 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 big mama? The, no, it's daddy. Now, Gardevoir, which you probably, guys have probably already seen, it's a stage two, 230 HP. Um, the ability lets you accelerate fairy energy from your hand anywhere that you want. Its attack does 30 damage times the number of energy attached to you and your opponent for one cut fairy energy. So you just start loading it up and it's anything that ha depends on heavy energy costs. That thing just takes care of it for you. So that ends with that. Next up we have three copies of Zorua. So do you run a 3-3 line? Yes, I do. Three and three. Um, I've tested a 4-4. Four, the four. Four, 4 always seemed like it was very unnecessary because I was just going through everything too fast. But it's just... Three seems to be the perfect number to me. And as long as you have two in, the, in play, you're doing pretty well for it. Now, um, the tech that I seem to never need at all, which you guys will probably question, one copy of Mew EX because Buzzwool is running everywhere and it's able to copy all of your attacks as well. So if you're having trouble getting anything out, it can copy your infinite force, it can copy your ride of speeding, if um, and it can copy your opponent's attacks if they take the DC as well. It can also co copy um, like um, Golade's attack as well. And then for consistency, we have two copies of Tapu Lele GX. The pretty simple wonder tag lets you get any um, supporter that you want. Now let's on the Pokemon. Let's go to supporters. Three copies of Cynthia. Yeah, let's get a, let's get a view of that uh, regional. Yeah, yeah the original good. one. Yeah, they gave that to me. Shuffle your hand to your deck, draw six cards. Every deck's running it now. Don't really need any more questions than that. Three copies of the King N. Good disruption, late game if you're falling behind in prizes. If you know your opponent's got a good hand and you want to get them out of it, it's good for that. And my favorite card in the deck, two copies of Mallow. It's just so good to just go through, get exactly what you want out of your deck, and then trade into it from Mallow. Um, this is a little light on this line. Two copies of Guzma, just to get up the attackers that we want to hit. Two copies of Bridget. Every every deck runs about two. And some play, decks will run Bax Potion instead, but I think one copy of Acerola just to go pick it up. And that way you can still keep your energy in the play as well. And then my Stadium of Choice, which is what everyone seems to question. I don't know why. Two copies of Fairy Garden. Now what's Fairy Garden do? Um, fairy Garden, anything that has a Fairy Energy in, attached to it, you get free retreat. Right. You don't need Flipstone if you got this out. And plus, since Carnivore already accelerates energy, there's really no need to not run it. But that's it for items and, well, for supporters and for um, stadiums. Let's go ahead and get to the items. We run four copies of Ultra Ball, discard two cards, search for a Pokemon. And. The other four of is four copies of Puzzle of Time. Just um, if you play one, you can just go and look at the top three deck cards of your deck, which is actually more helpful than you think it would be because if you if you're not able to draw anything that you want, 
play the one puzzle, look at the top three, find something you want there, trade into it. Um, next, I have three copies of Rare Candy. I'd like to bump this up to a four, to be perfectly honest, because we are running the four Curlias, but I think three, that's something I would actually recommend, is bumping this up to a four. If you're not expecting Buzzwell, get rid of the Mew for that fourth one. And since I was expecting Garboder, and I did not play a single Garboder all day, but this this is still came in very helpful to get rid of stadiums um, and fighting fairy belts, three copies of Field Blower. Now, this could be done to a two. I was just expecting Garboder, and I didn't hit a single Garboder deck all day. And I really don't know why. I don't know. Maybe it tells you how crappy of a player I am. And the last item in the deck is two copies of Choice Band just to be able to get that extra damage. I'd like to bump this up to a three as well, but I don't know what I will do with it. Energies. One, two, three, four, five, six fairy energies. That way we can be able to take advantage of Secret Spring and Infinite Force. And since we have so many DCE attackers within the deck, we're going to call colorless. And that is the deck. Seems really solid. Is there um, anything you recommend changing in the deck? Any big things? Get rid of that. Yeah. Get rid of the Mew. All right, Jamie, thank you for your time. Uh, we're out, guys.